mysterious story. For a long time, experts have been perplexed by these ghost videos. Despite the fact that they could all be planned, they all appear to have at least one aspect that cannot be completely refute. Number 13. It seems that the Haunted Finders crew is a two-man team eager to investigate a rumored cursed church. And I would just like to give special prominence that there is only one person who is talking and one person who is holding the camera. Number 12. There seems to be an evil force that has taken over this home in Bothell, Washington, and it does not leave. According to paranormal experts from all over the world, including this team, all of them have been perplexed by their findings. First, movement is detected by motion sensors in areas where there is no visible movement to the naked eye. What's strange is that the trip wires pause beeping no matter when the investigators approach. It appears that grunts, growls, and weird laughter can also be heard throughout the house. And here's a video of the same laugh captured by multiple cameras. You maybe direct it a little bit better. Because all of the noises appear to be at the correct distance in each shot, they are most likely real. Number 11. When something catches a person's attention, he is recording at an old memorial site that appears to be haunted. When they turn around again to capture some more, they come across a girl who is putting on modern clothes, her face and chest hidden by long black hair. After that, she was disappeared. There seems to be something about this video that appears to be unplanned and natural. Despite the fact that I will admit that there is a slight delay in my reaction throughout the double take, perhaps the person recording could only see it on their screen and not in front of them. Perhaps this video is a forgery, as the girl could have merely ducked out of sight. Had the person filming gone into the building and seen nothing, I would be convinced that this video is genuine. Number 10. It seems that a YouTuber named MichaelJP86 is filming a cemetery late at night to see if anything unusual occurs. Unexpectedly, there is a mysterious light that appears in the distance. What is that? Is that car stopped over there? Despite the fact that they initially believe that it is the headlights of oncoming traffic when there seem to be no vehicles passing by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is coming from within the cemetery itself. Michael 86 has claimed that the rectangular shape shown here is a pure light doorway. In slow motion, you'll notice a tiny figure dash into the doorway just as the light gradually grows faint. Unless this is paranormal, please share with me what you think caused the light to pop up, as well as the shadow that ran into it. Number 9. There is a group of paranormal investigators that travels to Gonzales, Texas, to prove that the county jail is haunted. After some investigation, they all agree that they are experiencing intense anger for no apparent reason. Eventually, one of them makes up his mind to confront no matter what is causing their elevated emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger, and I want to know why. And the question is met with even more venomous retort. You're right. <coughs> An unsighted hand, they claim, moves smoothly around his throat and tightly squeezes it. Then, the retching noises he creates appear to be genuine. It seems that he runs out of the building, and his eyes immediately turn red and watery. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your- man, you gotta see your eyes. I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. If he cannot give himself fully red eyes on command, all of this proof leads me to believe that the ghost occurrence was real. Number 8. It appears that this Pakistani ghost video follows a paranormal expert named Sajad Salim and his team when they investigate an old building late at night. Lastly, they catch an apparition by chance, the existence of which none of them can give an explanation since. <laughs> and there was a hunched over witch like figure put on tatted clothing stands on the other side of the room. After that, she takes three steps forward and looks fixedly at them. Everyone is perplexed by what takes place next. If you pay attention to this part, you'll notice that she has gone almost instantly. A few moments ago, this red arrow shows where she was staying. 
Despite the fact that she doesn't have enough time to beat a hasty retreat into the doorway, she vanishes. Then Salim goes over the room and discovers no one, leaving him stunned in silence. Number 7. At 6 o'clock in the morning, this slow-moving white object is captured by a CCTV gym camera. It seems that the weird shape stays afloat in midair and even changes shape slightly at times. According to the experts, they have not been eventually able to make out the source of this fluttering figure, whether it is paranormal or not. Despite the fact that I suppose that it could be a piece of lint or something that ground to a halt on the camera's lens, the way it slowly moves from side to side without moving gets me to think it's a classic haunting. Number 6. It appears that they recorded these Snapchat videos just a few days after YouTuber Miss Brown 070809 and a co-worker make up their mind to demand the presence of a spirit at her workplace for fun. Since then, she has felt as if she is constantly being watched. Despite the fact that it's likely a glitch, the timing and movement of these Snapchat videos seem a little off at times. It appears as if a spirit is saying something in response to her immediately, as in this case. Friend, where are you? I want to see you, please. The way that the ghost pops up at eye level and follows a colleague's movement makes you be unable to look at it. It's here, it doesn't sing with them. <laughs> When she gives a plural form to the word friend, more of them appear out of nowhere. Friends, I need to say goodbye. Oh my god, you brought so many friends here, what the I And I'm actually perplexed by the appearance of multiple faces after she says friends. Although I'm not saying these are unquestionably spirits, the timing is unusual, to say the least. Number 5. Bronry16, a YouTuber from Southern California, is deep in a mine when a pale light is discovered off in the distance by him. It looks like the light is not as bright as that of modern electronics. Instead, it appears dim and rotates at waist level, similar to an old lantern. And I'd have to agree with BR Henry16 that this is the spirit of a cave miner. Please share with me if you agree or believe this segment of the video was actually staged. Number 4. It is believed that the David Livingston Centre in Glasgow, Scotland is a haunted museum because these paranormal investigators are ready to explore by themselves. When the poltergeist activity sets about, setting up their equipment hasn't been even finished yet. In the beginning, there seems to be something falling in the darkness, followed by a piece of equipment flipping over in front of them. When they go to the location where the other object fell over, they discover that one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked on its own. We'll have to take their word for it because we didn't see it on video. After that, they go to a chapel area where they believe that despite the fact that they see something move, can't tell because it's too dark. As if it's a person? Yeah. Behind you. Nevertheless, they discover this image of a shadow person when they take a picture of the chapel's corner. Number 3. There was an axe-wielding maniac who once murdered an entire family and two guests in this home in Villisca, Iowa. No matter who did it was never made him have a trial in order to find out whether he is guilty of a crime, and the restless spirits of those left behind have yet to find peace more than a century later. Lighthouse Music, a YouTuber, detects the spirit of children hiding in the closet and begins recording. And she speaks softly and gives candy. There appears to be not anything taking place for a while until, The spirit then appears to obey some other basic commands, as if further proof were required. Just a little bit further, or can you close it? Though it may seem strange, they require the child to open the door wider than usual as a test, and it appears to obey timidly. However, it's the final paragraph that makes me be persuasive. When the spirit gets what it wants, the door closes harder than at any other point in the video. I'm going to leave it right here, over here on this chair for you, okay? Well, thank you. Despite the fact that it was likely a draft from a nearby window opening and closing the door, this definitely appears to be childish behavior to me. Number 2. In 2010, they shot this six-second video and it has perplexed the YouTube community ever since. Mark Grove, a YouTuber, reacts quickly and captures no less than three spectres filling the doorway to his living room. 
When you have a closer examination, you can see what may be the spirits of a previous family who lived here. It seems that the one in the center is a child and a large adult on the left and a medium-sized adolescent on the right. In this video, according to Mark Grove, he sees the fourth ghost, however, I don't. Because the description shows that the one on the far left appears to be just a chair, so share with me if you can spot the fourth one. Number 1. Sean Juris, a YouTuber, makes up his mind to go ghost hunting with his friends at their studio office, which seems to be spooked. At 2 a.m., they get together and are discussing what they should do next when something happens in the next room over. What, what actually what? was that? The building is filled by this sound about 10 seconds later. Please hear it carefully and let me know if you think it's real or if it's been edited. Which? Despite the fact that they're pretty feeling extremely scared and get ready to flee by this point, the spirit hasn't finished them yet. You'll notice that there was not anyone nearby when this occurs, which leads me to believe it's real. Before they could leave, all of the lights went out. And one of them switches on the camera light just in time to see their friend looking fixedly at them blankly from the ground. Even though I suppose that he was just taking action and one of his friends used his feet to grab him, that doesn't seem to explain the actual ghost sighting at the end. Let's go! And in my opinion, this is true because the raw adrenaline sends his friend slamming through a door. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every day. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of my other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy.